Because when Holy Ghost comes, he's going to reprove sin. Uh, that means he's going to rebuke it. Uh, he's going to chastise it. Uh, because God said in Hebrews 12 and verses 8, uh, and some of us ain't going to like this, but, uh, but anyhow, hey man, I'm going to say it anyhow. Hey man, God says uh, if you're without rebuke or a father's chastisement, uh, he said you're no longer sons, uh, you're bastards. <gasps> Lose your neighbor, say it's in your Bible. It means fatherless. Anybody here, Holy Ghost? See, everybody is not a child of God. We're all God's creation. Yes, we've been made from dirt. Come on, somebody. Amen. But the Bible said in Galatians 3.26, you're children of God through faith in Jesus Christ. Somebody shout, we're children of God through faith in Jesus Christ. You're not a child of God until you repent and believe the gospel. Jesus came preaching and did just that in Mark 1.15. Jesus said, repent. Somebody shout, acknowledge your sin. Admit your sin. Confess you need the Savior. Turn from your sin and follow the crucified, buried and raised from the dead, three later one. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and you will be saved. Somebody shout, all faiths don't lead to heaven. Everybody's trying to preach unity now. Jesus said, I bring a sword. Take the S off a sword and you got a word. For the word of God's quick, powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing. Somebody say piercing. How long has it been since you heard a piercing preacher? Piercing. Come on, somebody. The word of God's quick and that don't mean hurry up and get through, preacher. It means it has the power to take something dead and make it alive. For the word of God is quick, powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing of the soul and the spirit and joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the intents and thoughts of the heart. That's Hebrews 4 and 12. The word discerner, discern, discernment means to judge. It judges. It exposes. Somebody say this word. Hallelujah. And if we ain't careful all in the name of the banner of unity that you'll hear across the news and you'll even hear in some pulpits in the day that we live in, it's all leading up to a one world order, a one world government, and a one world faith. I'm not saying we can't all get along, but I got news for you. In 1992, I got saved in 91, and in 92, a few months after I was saved, before I ever began preaching after God called me, hallelujah, I had a dream, and in the dream, I was going into houses, many houses, so many I couldn't even count at one time, and then I couldn't figure it out, but now I understand, amen, media. I understand the internet, the world wide web. Come on, somebody. And as long as I told them that Jesus was a, a man of faith that says he loves you, he loves you, they were pleased and they would smile. Come on, somebody. But when I began to quote John 14 and 6, where Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come unto the Father but by me. It was amazing at their countenance. Amen. And they began to put on their religious garb and clothing, and they began to chase me with weapons. And as they were chasing me, the streets were dark. The days were evil, and I was still running through the street, and I was screaming out, I'll still say it, Jesus is the only way. There is no multiple ways. Unlike the route to your local Walmart, you probably got about two or three or four ways figured out you can get there. But honey, I can tell you to heaven, there ain't but one route. His, his name is Jesus the Christ. And this is one of America's sins. But God said in his word, in Psalm 16 and four, their sorrows shall multiply that hasten after other gods. 
I'm still preaching when the Holy Ghost comes because everybody's praying for revival, it seems like. Everybody's wanting Holy Ghost to come, come and move. Well, I'm gonna let you know when Holy Ghost comes and moves, first thing he's gonna do, he's gonna call sin, sin. He's not gonna be like some of these jellyfish backbone curved in their mouth, mega preachers that's got big followings. Come on, somebody. These grace gluttons that's joined just the love and hug and grace club. Amen, and they ain't called to tell you nothing wrong. They've just called to encourage you. You come on somebody, somebody shout the devil is a liar. Unlike them, when Holy Ghost comes, he's gonna mess up your playpen. He's gonna get in your sin. He's gonna get in the stuff that keeps you from getting to him. He's gonna call it like it is because he loves us that much. Somebody shout when Holy Ghost comes. He's gonna reprove sin and part of that sin's idolatry. 